Hello, my friends, and welcome to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I am your hunting guide, Jeff, and today I am at a road cut here in St. Louis area. And uh, I've been here before. This is a pretty neat area. This is uh, lots and lots of death plates. Most of the stuff I'm going to find here today will be crinoids. I've got another spot I may hit up. Uh, if I do, it'll be in the video. If not, forget I said that. But let's get in here. Let's see if we can't find some cool crinoids. We will find uh, uh, Archimedes screws in this area from time to time, which is cool. And uh, I've heard there are fish teeth out here. So let's see what we can find. As you can see, crinoids are already popping up. That one is still in the uh, matrix itself. This is just a giant death plate, though. As you look at it, all this through here is crinoid and shell and other such things. That's kind of a cool piece right there. But yeah, this is uh, this is all ancient seafloor that we're looking at right through here. And I do like crinoids, especially big ones like this. I think I'm gonna try to chip that out. And uh, when I do, I'll show you on camera. And there we go, guys. That's a nice little crinoid piece there. Uh, these things are still alive to this, well, this isn't, of course, but crinoids are still alive to this day. They're called the sea lily. Um, I will pop up a picture right here and show you what they looked like when they were alive. They haven't really changed much. Uh, the first picture was a, well, there's another nice one. The first pic, oh, I dropped it, there it is. The first picture was a uh, ancient crinoid sea lily. Uh, the second picture is one that is alive for all uh, for all thank yous to whoever I grabbed the picture from. Look down in the description section of the video and that way you can go to their websites. But yeah, crinoids are super cool. All right, and see, there's tons of them. This is actually the Missouri State Fossil. And, uh, well, you can kind of see why. <laughs> they are everywhere. But anywho, I'm going to get to hunting. And when I find cool stuff and bigger crinoids, maybe with luck some Archimedes screws, which I'll show you guys when I find one, uh, I'll show you on camera. Oh, yeah, you guys. I just found something really cool. Well, let me show you what's going on here. So this big old rock right through here had a crack in it. And I was like, man, I wonder if I can pop that crack. And I did, and I set it down real carefully. And I just found myself a trilobite. I don't know if it's all there, but that is a trilobite sitting right there in that rock. Yes. Oh, I love trilobites. All right, I'm gonna work on this a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can't get it out. All right, let me see if I can get this popped off. But for anybody who is interested in, oh no, he split. No, 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 no. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to be extra careful with this. But for anybody who's interested in fossil collecting, if you don't know where to go, you can always do road cuts. Check your laws, your local laws first, of course. I'm okay to do this here so long as I am not on a major highway or interstate. I'm on an exit ramp. Everything's good. I've got guardrail, so I am safe. But just so you all know, people are like, man, I never find fossils. You won't find them if you don't get out and look. You have to explore, explore, explore. Also just picked up this little bitty, little round piece of crinoid. That's coming home with me. Well, guys, alas, the rock totally split on me. Split the trilobite. That's uh, what I get for not bringing the right tools. This rock was already pretty decayed anyhow. But I know if I find one, I'll find another. So we'll just keep looking, keep our fingers crossed, and maybe we'll look the next one won't uh, split out on me. It's still there for anybody who wants it. It's not that hard to find where I'm at. In fact, uh, well, I'll give you an idea where I'm at. There's a Deerbergs and a Dobbs and Route 141. I'm in Missouri. All right, let's let's uh, let's check this up here. Looks like we got some nice piece of crinoid there. 
pretty decent looking piece of shell here. Man, that bumps me out about that trilobite. Oh well. Such is the life of a rock hound. And it's only a trilobite. You know, if it was like a T-Rex or something, well, one, I'd have stopped working on it and called the, called one of the paleontological schools, but that's all right. All right, let's get these out. All right, guys, so check this out. It's just rock weathers away. The outer matrix falls off, and uh, you'll find crinoids laying all over the place little bitty ones to ah, eh, that's still a little bitty medium size I guess so by the time I'm done here today if I wanted if I wanted to spend all day here I would probably have a bag full of crinoids what is this that is part of an old shell of some sorts there's a little bitty crinoid I don't know if you guys can see that I'm kind of in the kind of got it in the shadow but Right there at my fingertip. Look at that little feller. Hold on, let me get my, let me get the dirt off of him. Ooh, don't fall, little crinoid. Yeah, it's a little bitty crinoid. That's cool. All right, set you on the rock with the, your friends. This is what I love about fossil hunting. You just get out and, I mean, look at this. Look at this right through here. Sometimes, you just get all sorts of cool stuff. Now this is kind of neat. So that's your regular crinoid. It's round. But this one, something smashed him fly it. That is a crinoid that has been smashed down. All right, I'm gonna put these in the bag. And I'm gonna keep walking, keep looking. I could spend all day right here in this spot, but that would make for an incredibly boring video. Plus all I'd find is crinoids. And I'm really hoping to find an Archimedes screw. That is a pretty crinoid right there. And I believe, oh yeah, I can get that out. That's loose enough. See, I can lift that a little bit with my thumb. See what the overburden is. I bet you there's some other cool fossils. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. Check it out, guys. That is an Archimedes screw. I'll post a picture of what those looked like when they were alive right here. All right, let's see if I can remove a little of that overburden and get that guy out. You can see this is all death plate all through here. This was all bottom of the ocean at one time. Millions of years before you and I were here. Millions of years. All right, there we go. Got him popped out. That's awesome. And as you look at this rock that it was in, there's so much fossil material up here, it's not even funny. Crinoids are a common fossil. So, if one or two breaks, it's no big deal. And like I said, they're still around today. So, there are probably still crinoid fossils being created as things lie dead at the bottom of the ocean. It's kind of cool to think fossilization process never stops even to this day it continues to go that is a nice chunk of death plate so you got an Archimedes screw running right through you got some big crinoid stuff uh, you've got shells that rock is all still one piece except for where I broke it and it hit me in the face I'm going to work on this I'm not sure what that is that's part of a shell there you can see the um, you can see the calcite that formed out of it. There's an Archimedes right there, and then the little phalangeal, which I believe are part of crinoid. I believe I could be wrong. I'll have to ask some of my my more advanced paleontological friends. But uh, yeah, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to get this guy out. I'm going to get this guy out. I'm going to get these little dudes out. That is some smooth crinoid right there. So let me work on this, and I'll be back with you once they're out. All right, I got that first Archimedes popped out, no problem. Let's throw it in the bag. Also, uh, thank you to Ron Coleman Mining. They uh, 
every time I go there I always use buckets but they give you a bag every time you go so uh, there's their phone number if you're headed down to Arkansas and want to look for some quartz crystals Ron Coleman mine is pretty awesome it's a little uh, free advertising for them but let's get back to working on this there's another Archimedes right there interesting okay cool so guys I learned a valuable lesson when you're working on something don't talk on the phone I was talking to Miss Hunting Rock, she's at lunch seeing how everything was going and I continued to work on that Archimedes screw and it popped out and it flew that way towards the camera. So uh, I'm going to flip around and see if I can find the dang thing. If I can, I'll show you on camera. So important lesson learned when doing paleontological work, don't talk on the phone. Alright, I'll be back. Alright you guys, I made my way up to the top and I'm walking along and I came to an area where they are the uh, cranoids are just there eroding right out of the rock big time and there are little ones look at that so many cranoids cranoids are uh, something I like to give away to people I usually give them to like little kids and stuff like fossils what's nice is uh, when you find the ones with a hole in them you can actually make necklaces and the such with them the natives in this area would do that there was something right the fact it's right there i don't think that's a uh, crinoid though i'm not sure what that is could be a horn coral but uh natives would make necklaces and beads and stuff because i mean let's face it it's a ready-made bead there's not much drilling that needs to be done especially the ones that are hollow all the way through but I'm going to collect the rest of these. I'm going to go back to my truck. And then uh, the next time you see me. Oh, that's a nice one. The next time you see me, I will be down in this little creek. Which uh, runs along the same formation. So we'll see what kind of stuff is popping up there. Maybe nothing. Maybe something. It'll be my first time there. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, you guys. I made it down to the creek. No clue what might be in here. There might be nothing. It could be full of fossil goodies. So uh, we're going to do a little exploring. See what we can find. And hopefully I find some cool stuff to show you on camera. Otherwise this will have all been for naught. But that's alright. This uh, next week's video will be uh, me probably looking for shark teeth. Because I will be getting to Florida. Uh, I actually leave this Friday. Me and Miss Hunting Rocks are going down for a week. I'll be meeting up with some buddies down there. You guys know them. You've seen them before. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go down, have a good time, and see what we can find. Anywho, let's check this creek, and I'll get back to you. Well, there's another crinoid. <laughs> that one's pretty cool. I'm going to leave it, though. But I am interested in this. That's a nice chert nodule. And then, of course, I got some... Uh, I think that might be calcite. Could be tumbled drews. Not quite sure. Even more crinoid rock. Oh, I would love to have seen this whenever it was ocean bottom at one time. Of course, you know, wearing scuba gear. But the crinoids down here just had to have been crazy. They're actually an animal. They are not a plant. They look like a plant, but they are not. They will actually swim around until they find a place that they like and they'll put down their tendrils and they'll stick themselves into it, which I think is pretty cool. As a kid, I always thought it was some kind of like seaweed or something, but nope, I was, I was mistaken. They are a living, well, I mean, plants are living, but they're, they're a living animal. Even the sea lily today is a living animal. All right, well, I'm under the bridge right now. I will not be chipping on any of that stuff or that over there. That's all part of the bridge embankment, but oh my God. Okay, guys, look at this. How heavy is, oh, this is coming with me. This is coming with me. That's what's left of a crinoid calyx. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yep. This piece will come home with me. It's heavy, but it'll fit in the bag. I can probably remove this. I'm going to see if I can remove that, and that's going in the bag. 
All right, that part popped right off. It had a crack in it, and look at that. That's super freaking cool. Oh, I'm so happy I found this. Man, I'm glad I came down here. I was questioning it earlier, and I was like, I probably got enough video for the video this coming week. But now this is, oh, that's awesome. That's gonna be a thumbnail. Guys, this is ridiculous. This place just keeps getting better and better. Uh, so I just found that great big crinoid and uh, I decided to, it was over there. So I decided to come over on this side of the creek and see what was over here. And uh, well, let me show you. Look at the size of that Archimedes. Can I get that out? Oh, it's not that heavy. And I could probably chip that rock down. It's got Archimedes over there. Man. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Luckily, I didn't plan on being down here very long. I wasn't walking a huge section of the creek. Like I said, this was just a, just an exploratory. And uh, yeah, this is so worth it down here. Okay. Whoop. Let me see if I can pop off the back of that without ruining it, and I should be able to. Because of the layers it's in, when I get it trimmed down a little bit, I'll show you guys again. What is this? Is this... Okay, that's just chert. <laughs> I thought I found a vertebrae of something. Okay, let me get this done, and I'll be right back to you. All right, guys, easy peasy. Split that rock, made it a little lighter. Got a nice Archimedes screw right through there. Of course, I got some more crinoid. I look over, and there's a big crinoid right here pop that out yeah I'll try to get that one out too uh, then we'll continue our path down this under the bridge checking over here make ourselves over to there and then head back up to the truck all right guys made it back to the truck got out of my chest waders let's pop some stuff out on the tailgate and see what I found all right guys from my first spot that road cut As you can see I got quite a bit of crinoid material got a couple shells shell piece and that's a real nice shell so that one i thought was a trilobite may have actually been a shell not a hundred percent certain i do got to get back there and look some more of course my little crinoids over here uh as i poured them out some of them went under that little lip there because they were super tiny my archimedes screw i found the other one who knows where it went and super tiny little crinoids now down in the creek, I found this, which is a imprint of an Archimedes. And then I found this big giant Archimedes right through here. This thing will look so cool once it's cleaned up. I will have to work on that. It's got some crinoid in with it. That's super awesome. And then the piece de resistance. Look at the size of these crinoid stems. Now you notice they all come back to this ball here I really believe that I might have a crinoid calyx in there. If I do, that is going to be super cool. It's the first one I found. Not a museum quality one, but you know what? It's my first one and I am super happy with that. All right, my friends, that's the video for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. Hamilton hopes you enjoyed it, don't you, buddy? He's like, where were you all day, Dad? I was walking a creek. I'll be going all next week. Yes, I love you. Mwah. Anywho, though, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, we hope you we see you guys the next time we're out hunting rocks. Don't we, Hamilton? Yeah. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Bye. Say bye, Hamilton. He says bye. Ooh. Springtime's here. He's shedding like crazy again.